Hey everybody, midweek update here. Uh, down here at the bottom, what you're gonna see is notes from the start of the week, the week prep. On the right, to familiarize yourself with the chart here, this is a four week rolling volume profile. The inside is the week to date. This is a four hour candle. Uh, in the blue here is the week to pivot. Uh, and then we have um, zone around that. And so let's discuss this activity. So above <clears throat> previous week's value high, uh, mentioning we want to watch for resistance up in the 5950s we can get that and so we pushed up and into this we reversed that completely we spent some time back inside a 67 three quarter which was important today and down here we have this pretty uh, decent distribution around this mix here and this zone between the 82 80 to 82 zone and the 68 to 72 is something that i want to discuss leading into tomorrow and so um, as long as we remain above the 68 to 72 zone, then I would expect uh, potential continuation up into the 5950s. 5950 right here. But if we come back inside of the 68 range, then I want to see us beeline to the pivot down at 5826 quarter to gauge for continuation. Um, uh, either either find bid there or um absolutely drop the bucket so when we come down into 57 84 three quarter down here but today uh the 48s that were tested 48 to 52 range that was tested um held well we got to push down into the overnight low fail and we find ourselves pushing back up and above the 67 68 range so let's take a look at that now as we look at this here um the dark area behind here this box uh from this morning is simply the balance area around the pivots and so we've got the 58 67 half at the highs and um and 58 53 down at the lows and so we came down into the lows we weren't able to find um, you know, maybe a tick or so below that, but we weren't able to find any interest inside of that before pushing up and out. And when we did push up and out, we find ourselves holding against a, a distribution below us. We have an LVN between. And we, even though we overshoot this here, we test outside, we come back in, we rotate back to where we um, originated that position or that um, initiative activity occurred. Once we test on either side of that, then boom, we get a we get a pivot test and we're off to the races. With NQ here, so this 487, the one that I just deleted, that way it doesn't create too much noise in the other chart. 487, the 520. Let's pay attention to that, and then below us here, um, 240 to 260 in this area now um, those are manually drawn on read but what we do have is the inability to maintain and build above the weekly pivot the weekly pivot is at uh, 20,342 right here and we're just currently in this distribution so where's the bottom of that right here right here we got this basically almost a 45 degree build uh, not quite finished um, but if we do find bid between 40 and 60 right here, then you can't fight that. And so um, to the upside, we have this thin area of volume in here. And naturally, yes, LVN starts at 450s, but I'm gonna pay more attention to this from a top down aspect, looking at the four week rolling from 520 to uh, 487. So 487, 520 puts us in the upper portion of this. And so if we were to auction up to that area, I would be conscious of the um, possibility to see reoffer opportunity. And I don't want to fight this if we were to um, get into the 30s, into this notch here, into this upper distribution. Second lead up to 778 three quarter. But as it stands here, and hey, we'll see in the morning for morning prep, what the activity overnight is but essentially 
here. As long as we're holding un underneath the weekly pivot, then I want to see this rotate back and forth between the 240s and weekly pivot. And once we escape that range, then we either um, test down into the 196 for continuation down to here at the 20,020s. Or we get above weekly pivot and we start to work our way up into the 520s. So if we zoom in on NQ itself, then what we can see is that uh, today, today in fact, uh, pretty similar to ES, we we had a, this drive down. However, we left this pivot balance zone. And so in leaving that pivot balance zone, we do is we build out some volume. So along the way, we had a ledge uh, initially right around um, lows of, or the 240s as we were pushing in right there. And that's unfinished right here, unfinished. Zone of initiation right here, 60s. We jam down, build a distribution. Honestly, frame that, it's beautiful. Um, but anyway, we come back inside of that. We get above the 60s where that zone of initiation was, that LVN, and we push up and out. And we, we gravitate back into the pivot balance zone. And knowing the stats around tagging pivot, uh, it's very important to be aware of that it's going to act like a magnet. So we hadn't we hadn't done that yet. And so we come back outside of this, we come into the high volume edge, and then we're rotating around balancing right in here, providing bid from that area of initiation and leaving all of this inventory down here as we gravitate up and through and get some get some stops and so forth as we push into and complete uh, the pivot stat up into this range, which gives us this build right around pivot. And so this is something that I particularly like to see because when it occurs and the end of this profile starts here, um, when this occurs, then you had a pretty clean line in the sand from this. This is a nice distribution. We get inside of that um, and start to auction, find interest below and not able to get back in through the high volume edge. Then what we do is we come back in the balance. And so just a, uh, tip seeing that type of activity but in particular nq if we look at the uh execution chart today from this and uh, uh the coloring of the candles is delta map and so that's um uh, order flow labs tool uh, for anybody else watching that's not utilizing that type of activity but essentially what you're seeing is the activity at hand on a on a live basis in order to show like this down here in the 260s we get dominator print is as well down here and we get a temporary run up okay and so when that occurs here we, we got to see we got to see the structure precedes execution nothing wrong with scalping in on something like that but essentially we have this zone of initiation right here at the 300s at the bottom of this gray area, which is the five minute opening range, the the green line is the five minute opening range mid. And then we shift back through, start to complete that volume profile. And this is where that ledge occurs, right here. You can see that very clearly at 240, right there. So when you see something like this, um, the best practice is to look for a reoffer at the LVN um, inside of it. You push and complete that profile. And then once you push and complete that profile, that's then a line in the sand. And to use range. And so what we get is push off from the LVN, build out the distribution. We're not able to do a whole lot of extension and we come back into and where do we rebid before a leg up uh, 242 nice so after that uh, we come into the prior distribution we're above these 60s and so we want to pay attention to that 
We'll pay attention to this push back up into the opening range. Building volume up into this mix. And it's right about here that you get that star on the delta map that flips. We're looking at that LVN at 35s here. When that flips, we want to start looking for a reoffer opportunity. The kicker is that we didn't have um, a ton of rotation. You had to be very quick with that. Um, and, and I missed that opportunity uh, for getting short on that. You know, I didn't front run that response. But as we came back into where we initiated from down here, down in the 60s, um, then things changed. So came back into this profile, um, high, volume pro, high volume edge down into this mix. And back up into range provides a temporary reoffer from that into that LVN. And then once we're not able to find any further extension into this distribution or the above, we find ourselves in balance. Test up into the above. We test up into the above. We're getting hit, getting hit, getting hit. And then as we come back into that um, last distribution, we get a uh, liquidity zone. And so uh, we get a little bit of overzealous activity from the sell side uh, that gets marked and tested. And that occurs on this leg down through here. And, and so when we come back into that activity, a nice burst up and out of that, and that leads us to a leg um, up about another 100 points on, on NQ, push up and create that distribution that we were talking about on the uh, five minute chart there. And now we're settling back into balance. So back to the uh, higher time frame aspect of this. If we remain below weekly pivot, then I'm still going to see that as weakness pushing down into 240 to 260 range in here before any type of counter move. Certainly don't want to um, fight this sucker um, above the 342 the 50 range here in the overnight session. I will not be trading the overnight session. I'm not going to stay up for it. But if we do find interest above weekly pivot, then put, I'm going to put my sights on uh, 47 to 520. So, thanks for stepping on. And um, and even though we look at something like, okay, well, here's the ES execution chart. So ES this morning, uh, we have that push down in, not able to get outside of the pip balance zones or the G line itself. And along the way, same thing, we're building some distributions, but the kicker is uh, back above that 67. We're finding activity above the 67s and also monitoring pivot, which was right in here at 64. So we were kind of hiked between the 68 to 72 and the 64. And as we tested down into the opening range, up and out and so forth, but I like to take a different look on this um, as far as charts go uh, with Delta Map, uh, the modified look, um, in order to highlight some of the uh, more intense sequences that occur. And so when you when when I'm seeing this type of response down here, and we're not making any progress, then then I'm certainly looking for this to bring it back, bring it back up and out, kind of like when we came into this liquidity zone this zone after testing up and above coming back in and balancing through here this liquidity zone getting that sell activity that's not able to essentially find continuation came into a zone of um of inventory that is stuck at the time and we get a bit up and out of there and so the reason i like the modified version of this is to be able to highlight, highlight this on rotations. Yeah, push up and out, you get a high intensity signal. Um, and so to show you that, hey, you know, we might be getting a little bit ahead of our our um, our move here. And so we get a little pullback, push up, a little pullback, push up, a little pullback, same thing through here and along the way. 
but just kind of um, a different visual on the intraday aspect. But coming in tomorrow, uh, we'll be on for morning prep. First thing between uh, 8.30 Eastern to 9 a.m. And I'll have that posted up. I wish everybody a nice, nice set of rest tonight. Get some sleep. Yeah, reset. And we'll be knocking it out tomorrow.